Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on your time zone. Hi, I'm Charlie Smith. And I'm Alan Aston, and welcome to the Brittany Army Barracks. Did you did you want to talk uh, at all about the stress that you've been dealing with on TikTok? Because we don't have to, other than just saying, fuck people. But <laughs> Listen, TikTok just is stress all the time, and it comes in waves, and I'm just in another wave right now, simply because I just spoke from my heart about something that's been weighing on me for months, which is about, you know, Britney Spears, her body image, why these videos were getting looked so manipulated, and me coming to the conclusion based off of uh, thinking this for a long time and then seeing a photo somebody sent me of her in Cabo and saying, you know what? I think that a lot of this editing that we're seeing is because she's unhappy with the way she's appearing in videos. Whether it's still beautiful, hot, whatever, doesn't matter. It's how she feels, I think. When you and I first started getting... Um getting you know friendly and, and being cool with each other you were making those glitch videos and I was like Ooh, but you never addressed it in a way that was like fucked up which is why I kept like okay that's her opinion you know and you and I hope I hope that it's obvious too like in us talking back and forth that like we did kind of talk about that and I was like right but we don't know that she doesn't want it that way you know what I mean like and I I feel like you have always been receptive to that concept and I think as soon as that became like um, uh, like a viable, like, you know what, that might be the case. I think you did the responsible thing. And I think you explaining to people why you did it is important. Yeah. Um, and I appreciate that, but you know, I do think you probably didn't catch some of my earlier videos. So let me be clear, like earlier on, I was a little stronger in the AI deep fake theory than probably when you caught me. And I think though, that's a testament to all these people saying like, Oh, team, your team con, they got you. You flipped overnight you haven't been paying attention because I started sort of in that lane of like, this isn't Britney. Oh my God. I really felt that way for a minute. Um, and then sometime around the spring, maybe like March, April, I started shifting the way I was talking about it because I was getting criticisms like that. And I was like, you know, you're right. I don't know. So I'm, let me talk about this more in a broad way and say, listen, yeah. we're still seeing this manipulation, but it, I'm, I'm not saying I would, I started going out of my way to say, I'm not saying she's, AI. I'm not saying these things, but I am saying that there are multiple possibilities and those are amongst those possibilities. Other possibilities include she's unhappy with her appearance and is using different filters or editing to get around that. I acknowledge that and I have been for months. So for people now to say, oh, you shifted overnight. Seriously, fuck off. You're either yeah. not paying attention or you're just misrepresenting me because you're upset. Yeah. And I, I, I really, uh, I could not agree with you more. That it's it's very obvious to anybody who follows you closely that this was not an overnight thing for you. Um, I think you even did one of those glitch videos like maybe a month or two ago, and you said I haven't been doing these, but I'm doing this one because and it and it didn't have to do with her body. It was it, it was something else. Um, and again, I think as first of all, as content creators, if you can't evolve your thinking on something, what the fuck are we all doing? What are we even here for? It. Yeah, and I notice the people that are the most upset with me right now are the people who have decided this narrative of it's not her, this is all fake, everything you're seeing is fake, and I've always acknowledged that that is a possibility, but I will never say this is a fact, and these are the people who say it's a fact. Yeah, and that's, that's really obnoxious. It really is very annoying because... Like you said, we don't know for a fact. And me personally, like I I said it last time we chatted, like every time any piece of information comes out, there are three ways I have to look at it. If Britney's free, if Britney's not free, and if she's not free, to what degree is she not free? And I think, you know, the idea that they're using AI either because Britney won't cooperate, she's being held somewhere, she's even worse, something terrifying, like, of course that's possible. Otherwise, there would not be a movement. We wouldn't have this podcast. There would be nothing for us to stress. Like, of course that's a concern. But I feel like by spending so much time harping on that, A, we're losing the fact that Britney's a person and not, this isn't a TV show. Like, I think people right. are so hung up on wanting to solve the Britney problem. They want to solve it, fix it. They want the notoriety and they want to be known as the one who cracked this code. And for the record, personally, I will never be the one to crack a code. I don't know Brittany. I've never met Brittany. That's not why I'm here. But what I do want to do 
is hold those people accountable when they say things, you know, coming after you or say, I know for a fact this is AI. And it's just like, we as a society barely understand what AI is. How the fuck are so many people these like experts of like, oh, do you see this? Do you see that? Like, I get that we can acknowledge that, okay, there's something going on with her videos, but it just kind of cracks me up how many experts there are. <laughs> in the Britney movement, I know. you know, with video editing and everything else. Well, and so many of these people out there who are so stuck on everything is fake are also out there saying, I've proven it. You haven't yeah. proven yeah. it. That bothers me. Never. And listen, I'm the same way as you. Like, I don't, I don't need to take credit for being the one. As a matter yeah. of fact, it would give me nothing more than great joy than to find out tomorrow you know what? She's actually fine and all this worrying was for nothing. And yep, your work was for nothing. I would be happy. OK, I'd be thrilled. thrilled. I don't need yeah. the ego boost. I don't need nope. it. And nope. I hope that if that is the case, one day she comes out and calls out these people who are like, yeah, me say too. this stuff. Me too. And I hope I'm not one of the people that got it wrong. But even so, I will be able to live with myself because I know in my heart that I am advocating for people to treat her like a human. So if for whatever reason, you know, like I was saying to you the last time, like if Brittany caught me in the beginning of this movement I was doing the same shit that you were doing a few months ago man I was I was convinced I was so convinced that team con was trying to push this narrative and and one example that I can speak to for myself is that I and I don't know that I ever even like said this out loud I might have but it, it clicked for me at one point us being like team con's trying to make her look crazy okay you're in a roundabout way saying that she looks crazy that's what you're saying you know what I mean and so like the more they're like team con's trying to make it look like bah, 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 Whatever that ba, 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 ba is, you're saying that's what Britney is is seemingly doing and being. And I think that, again, we haven't really heard from Britney. You know, these captions on Instagram, uh, you know what I mean? I take them with a grain of salt. I think, I think there's a very decent possibility she's part of her Instagram uh, uh, presence. But, I, I, you know, I've said it like a broken record. I'm not convinced that she's in control of it. I think she has access to it. Um, but even... I don't know. Even in this last uh, caption that she had, I'm going to pull it up so I can yeah. read it. But in the last caption that she had, I found it very interesting that she didn't go after Sam, like, at all. Um, if anything, she went after her dad, which, like, is part of the course. But it, it's just very interesting to me that, like, in her addressing the divorce, she the only negative thing was saying she had to be her dad's strong soldier with that sentence itself mm. just, like... Crushed. Cr crushed me, man. Oh, my God. And it's occurring to me, it occurred to me um, just before we got on this call, and this right here is conspiratorial. I will admit it. This is paranoia and me being crazy. A little bit. I'm like, soldier? <gasps> I was like, soldier? What? Is she talking to us? And I oh. hate when I do that. As soon as my brain goes into, like, she's talking to us, I have to be like, nope. Sit the fuck down, Charlie, because no, she's not. I don't know Britney Spears. She's not talking to me. But I did think it was interesting she used the term soldier. Yeah, I, I didn't even think about that when I saw it, but that's a good point. You know what really stuck out to me in her caption when she said something about like receiving messages telepathically from her friends yeah. supporting her? I was like, it's does so that mean nobody called you or does that mean nobody can call you? What does that mean? I was really glad that, because uh, I saw your video yesterday that you posted about that. A, do you just sleep with makeup on all the time? Because as soon as <laughs> something comes up, boom, you got a video and you are camera ready. And I was laying in bed, like thinking like, oh, I should make a video about this. I'm like, thank God Alan's on it. Because because literally I was like, looking like garbage. Your eyeliner was no. perfect. Well, look at like, me what? now. I have nothing on. I rolled out of bed and then just started doing stuff around my house. But no, it was because last night I was on live for a lot of hours with a bunch of creators over on TikTok when this got posted and then I got tired and I was like I gotta go to bed but let me just do this before I wipe my face and go to bed <laughs> but I, I was glad that you pointed out though that interpretation of it because as soon as I hear telepathic and again I don't like that my brain does this I think she's talking to us and that makes mm -hmm. way less sense like you what you were saying makes much more sense of her being like oh I have to be telepathic with my friends because they don't call or message or like reach out to me so I was glad because I get a little nervous when it feels like she's speaking more metaphysically than most people can understand. Um, but I wouldn't have put that together. I didn't, I didn't even think of that, that she was speaking, that she said telepathically is like a dig to her friends. But after you said it, I was like, oh, that's a good fucking point. I mean, she does tend, she's a very sarcastic girl. And I can read that because I'm a very sarcastic girl too. Mm -hmm. So when I read that, that was my first thing was like, 
oh, she's reading her friends right now. And I wondered because, you know, I saw that a bunch of the celebrities like Madonna, I believe, um, somebody at Paris, maybe another one all unfollowed Sam yesterday. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. That's so funny. Yeah. So So I was wondering if she saw that and she was just like, oh, you guys are going to unfollow Sam, but you're not even going to reach out and call me and see if I'm okay." That's a really good point. But we don't know. Because like. Because we don't know if their divorce is very amicable. Like he, there are reports of rumors of like sources say, sources say, but anything that's been directly from Sam has been kind. It's been like he, you know, it didn't work out and whatever, like his, his Instagram story thing was weird that he was asking for no privacy. Like I was just like, dude, either ask for privacy or shut the fuck up. Like he's just like, it's crazy. I felt like it was so like, it's crazy to ask for privacy. So just come on guys, just take your picks. Like it felt like he was inviting people to be invasive on it. And it's just like, that made no fucking sense. But that aside, he still was kind. Like he wasn't like, I'm done with this bitch. I can't deal with her. He didn't say anything bad. And uh, Brandon Cohen, I think is his new representative uh, or not new, but Brandon Cohen. No, I thought it was Neil Hirsch or something. Oh, Brandon Cohen was the one who gave a comment. Maybe he has two. So Brandon was the one also that was in the picture back with that Maxi article that Maxi and Oh, that's his another- PR. I was thinking of his lawyer. Sorry. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So this is his PR. So his PR person, Brandon. Um, he also said that any reports that he's threatening to exploit her or extort her or whatever is just completely untrue. Um and you know, I And I guess I believe that, you know what I mean? Like, why would he come out with a public statement saying he's not going to do that if he's going to do it? Because we're all going to find out and it's just going to make him look even worse. Um, Well, even if he's not actually trying to publicly extort her in that way, I'm still not buying this story fully. I read some good breakdowns um, somewhere in a news article. I wish I could remember where. But it basically said that it's obvious that he is contesting the prenup. Regardless of whether he's trying to extort her or not, it's fairly obvious that that's what he intends to do because their prenup specifies no spousal support, period. But when they filed for divorce, they checked the box on the paperwork for spousal support. So that's automatically contesting the prenup. Why would he? I just, that's so annoying. That's so frustrating. Like, why would he get anything? Like, so he can maintain his lifestyle? Like, why would he get anything? That makes no fucking sense. No, for me, that. the only acceptable, if if Sam was the guy that he wants us to believe he is, he wants us to believe he's been there for her, he's tried everything, he loves her. If he was that guy, the only thing I want to hear come out of his mouth is the statement saying, I still love and support her, but it's not working out with the two of us. And I understand that she's been used her entire life for monetary gain. So I don't want anything from her. Yep. Yep. Exactly. And unless he's saying it that blatantly and that forthcoming, you know, then I don't want to hear it either. I did tag Sam um, in one of the, and I actually felt bad. I, I tagged Sam. um, I tagged Sam. Oh, in the allegations that he was going to, you know, release embarrassing information about her or whatever. And in hindsight, I'm really mad at myself that I did that because that wasn't a, a proven story. That was just like a tabloid thing. Um, and we didn't, you know, we never knew that for a fact. So I actually do feel shitty that I tagged him in that because hypothetically, um, he might not have had anything to do with that story. In my heart, I believe he's the one that's talking to TMZ because he wants his name out there. Um, and like, no, you know, no press is bad press kind of thing. Or I think that's what he's doing. Well, I do too. And I mean, I made a video on the history of what's been going on since January, just on TMZ alone. And you can see it's like all these negative, nasty stories about Britney. And then they catch up with Sam just out of nowhere, catch him on the phone. And he has these really nice, positive conversations with them. And I'm like, Sam, you're playing nice with the devil who's out yeah. for your wife. Like, yeah. And I hope that's part of why Britney... Brittany was no longer happy in the relationship. Like, I hope she was aware of that and she put a stop to it. And that's why he was done. Um, but I also will find it funny if the reason that he wants spousal support is that like he, like he's been making a living as her husband. Like, I think that's what he's been fucking doing. I think he's been making money on these TMZ stories or whatever. Now, again, that's just a total theory. I don't know that Sam is doing that, but it's just like, that's what seems logical to me. One of the other things that I wanted to talk about that I'm, 
so hesitant to talk about just because I get very angry and emotional about it. Um, Mm -hmm. I saw, well, first of all, House and Habit blocked me, which is one of my biggest points of pride. So now officially Vicky T (laughs) has blocked me, House and Habit and Sam Ashgari have all blocked me on Instagram. Um, I don't know how she hasn't blocked me because she has literally blasted me in her story saying how much she hates me and sharing my video and got her all of her following to harass me for days and days when my grandma died. Oh my God. The reason I even bring up House and Habit at all is she's now making allegations that Sam Ashgari is probably gay, is what she said. Mm-hmm. Um, first of all, how cowardly, like to say probably, like you either think he is or he's not. That's, that's first of all. Um, and there's truly one thing that can make Sam gay. There's one thing that will define him as gay, and that is Sam saying he's gay. Nothing. 100%. Nothing else. I don't give a fuck if you show me a video of him balls deep in another man. That, that doesn't make, make gay. him gay. It doesn't. It doesn't. My relationship is a queer relationship. I'm not straight either, and I don't know if you know that. but I did not know that, but hey, girl, hey. Um, hey. <laughs> but I, I take strong offense to the idea of house and habit trying to out a person. And for the record, if he is... It makes this worse. It makes it worse. And House and Habit trying to force somebody out of the closet is, I can't believe she's making me defend Sam Ashgari. Like, wow, oh my God, like this is so maddening. And then to see some creators that I actually respect a lot praising her for it, praising her and saying, oh, finally, you know, I don't like Jessica, but finally she's speaking truth. It's just like, what the fuck are you all doing? Uh, it's giving Perez Hilton. I mean, <gasps> Perez Hilton built a fucking career off of outing gay people. And he was a gay man himself. Like, what's what type of self-loathing do you have to possess to yep. be like this? Yep. It's disgusting. And I agree with you. And I've, I've heard these rumors. I've heard these rumors for months and months and months. I never said it in a video or said anything like that because that's not my fucking business. Yep. And also really irrelevant to me. Whether he has fucked men or... I would matter. And like for me, like people at one point were like, oh, I wonder if Brittany and and Cade, uh, excuse me, Brittany and Sam are in a thruple with Cade. And I'm just like, do you know how fucking hot that would be to me? Like, I don't like Cade or (laughs) Sam, but if she's in the middle of a meat sandwich, to me, like I've been in polyamorous relationships. I think that's fucking great. Do I trust Sam or Cade? No, I don't. But hypothetically, if that relationship was healthy and thriving... Her having two people to care for her and show her love and affection or whatever, that's not a bad fucking thing. And if you are freaked out by the idea of intimacy from two men, that is a you problem. That has nothing to do with Britney Spears. That has nothing to do with this movement. Speculating on people's sexuality is fucking rude and nobody should be doing it. Like, why do you give a fuck? Like, how does that have to do with the conservatorship and the money that's been fucking stolen and Jamie Spears trying to get legal fees paid? Like, what does Sam's dick and and what he does with it have to do with anything it really doesn't i mean i can understand if people would be maybe upset that he misled britney britney and made her think like he loved her but the whole time he was gay but at the same time like that's it's not society's job to pick that apart that is something i feel strongly is between the two of them for me the things i'm concerned about sam asgari are not like what he did out in his bedroom secretly somewhere it's what he's doing in public now it's what he's saying to tmz it's it's how he's treating the situation with britney yeah his yeah. actions i feel like holding him accountable for his actions is very easy we don't need to you know go so low with it and for the record the idea of him misleading her is also the entire premise of the show grace and frankie on netflix that's not even if he did do that that's not because he's some malicious fucking monster it would be because he lives in a society where it is not openly okay to be fucking gay i am so resentful that anybody is forcing me to stand up for sam ashgari at this fucking (laughs) point in time i'm so angry it really hurts my heart and Um, But I think that's a testament to you that like you're willing to set aside all of your negative feelings about him to still defend this very specific thing that you don't think is right. This is an unbiased. I mean, as much as anybody can be unbiased, we're never fully unbiased. Let's be very real. But this is as unbiased as I think you can be toward him while looking at everything and still saying, no, this is still wrong. We can hate this man and still it's not okay to say or do these things about him. Yeah. 
And, and, you know, and I did after I, I was messaging you about it. Cause I was like, wait, are there actual things of people being racist to him? And I didn't see them at first. And, uh, uh, I did end up seeing a few, a couple of people messaged me some things that were really horrible that people are saying. And it's just like, why are you attacking him for stuff that's like not relevant? All The only thing people are doing is showing their ugliness. They're, they're, they're not making any good points about Sam. If you want to make a good point about Sam, let's talk about how he was hired and paid as a chef by her dad and he was getting paychecks from Britney's money in the beginning of their relationship. We can talk about Sam and talk about all of the shadiness, the wedding and how fucking ridiculously suspicious that is. Now we're seeing reports that supposedly it was June 11th. Did you see that? Yeah, that's when they signed the paperwork. I don't know. But like, but so I guess my reason for bringing it up is that people have speculated that they surprised her with this wedding. She didn't know it was happening. So she like mm-hmm. woke up to a tent in her yard, which Jason claims that that's also the case that they set it up in the mm-hmm. middle of the night. And I think they surprised her with a wedding. And then they went down a few days later and they signed the paperwork for it. Uh, and and I say that, but at the same time, I, you and I have discussed on this before um, that I believe uh, I believe she was married to him prior. I think they got married on vacation like in Mexico. Well, so did I, but I think we were wrong because that paperwork says June 11th. They I mean, if if they didn't get paperwork done back in whenever they originally were married, then it would say that on these divorce papers, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So so now so, so now I guess the theory would be they didn't get married before that ceremony. They got married after the ceremony. I guess is the would be the theory. Or now fact. Yeah, or at least they didn't sign the paperwork that day. Yeah. I'm going to look into that more because you're right that maybe that's just something that people do. But like, I've never heard of somebody having a wedding and then getting the license after like. Well, I know that like, see, and I don't know a lot about the efficient that they had there, but I do know he's a celebrity efficient. He did Paris Hilton's wedding as well. And so I would think that he is ordained and able to sign and stuff. But me personally, at my ceremony that I held in my dad's backyard, we had my husband's uncle do it and he wasn't ordained. It was all just for show. We did the paperwork entirely separately. So in my mind, I'm like, you could do that and just not have done the paperwork there. Maybe. And maybe they didn't want it on paperwork so the public wouldn't find out. Like if they went to the courthouse, maybe the the public would find oh, out. That's a good point. Remember, they had a confidential marriage license. What if they can't do that like on site? What if you yeah. have to do that at the courthouse? Yeah, maybe that's true. Hi, I'm Charlie Smith, your Brittany Army General, and you're listening to the Brittany Army Barracks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this show with your friends who are also part of the Brittany Army. For more information about Justice for Brittany and all things Brittany fandom, go to BrittanyArmyGeneral.com. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our show. Why are people throwing phones at celebrities? Was it was it Cardi B or was it Cardi B that recently got in trouble for throwing the mic back? Yeah, I think it was. Hold on, let me look. I thought it was Cardi, but whoever it was, I was like, you know what? I feel that so hard. I feel that so hard. You just assaulted me on stage. I'm going to throw whatever's in my hand, too. It was uh, Cardi. It was Cardi B. <laughs> okay. Yep. And I found that really, really interesting because right after that happened, Britney Spears started posting about Cardi B a lot. She was using her music. She was saying, I wish me and Cardi B could go to the cathedral together and tell everybody to fuck off or whatever she said. And I was like... Maybe that's because she really is relating to Cardi B, throwing that mic at somebody who entered her space without asking. Are you aware that uh, Lou Taylor represents Cardi B? Ew, no. Yeah. And um, that same week that Britney referenced and started using Cardi B's music, um, Cardi started wearing a shirt that said, it says, I feel like Britney Spears is what it says on her T-shirt. And... uh as soon, as soon as I started posting things and being like, oh, I love that. Because Cardi B is one of my favorite fucking performers. Mm. I love Cardi. Um, and as soon as I posted like, oh, it looks like Cardi's showing Britney some love. I got a barrage of people who were like, yeah, she's repped by Lou Taylor. I was like, what? And I looked it up and it appears that is the case. Um, mm. Justin Bieber uh, also Is that just why signed. he broke up with Scooter Braun? Yeah. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Yep. 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 So I'm getting a little nervous about the idea of Lou, you know, getting those How come are these up. people and... still signing with her, knowing what they know about her? Maybe they I just think, think that's why. oh, she won't do it to me. No, I think that's why, knowing what they know. Look how much power she has, dude. You know? 
I think in Hollywood, people know the truth. Um, but there's just sort of a collective denial. I think people in Hollywood know exactly what they're dealing with. Um, but also, you know, look at Megan Trainer. Her career's going okay, and she's just some broad from Cape Cod. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. F- fuck Lou Taylor. Yeah. Fuck Hollywood. Yeah. Fuck all of it. Fuck the music industry. Fuck Dr. Luke. I could just keep going. Dr. Luke, <laughs> I don't know a ton about other than the brush strokes of the Kesha story. Um, yeah. But I really, it's, it's funny because when I started in this Britney community, I... I actually I noticed the other day when I was speaking in the podcast I said when I started this community and what I meant to say was I when I started in this community for anybody listening I of course don't think I started this community at all (laughs) um but when I when I started in this I remember coming to terms with you know like you know you're a singer I'm a comedian and performer I don't know what the fuck I am but I had to kind of realize at some point if I'm gonna do this and I'm going to speak the truth that I find about Britney Spears in this case and all this stuff. I have to own the fact that I will never, ever be mainstream. It's not going to happen. It's kind of cooler to be fringe anyway, especially with music, if you ask me. You know what I mean? Like, just make it your fucking self instead of getting six cents on the dollar. But it's yeah. it's a big jump. It's a big leap to have to say, you know what, I'm going to stand up against Lou Taylor and these Hollywood elites and all these people because we're also performers and artists and we need... Hollywood in order to get, you know, on a bigger Mm -hmm. platform. Um, But I think similar to, you know, speaking against it, if people shit on Sam for the wrong things or whatever, like you just got to speak up when it comes down to it. Yeah. And I just got to say, I don't want to be famous. That is my nightmare. I absolutely look at all this stuff we're talking about with Britney Spears. None of this would be happening if not for fame. I think fame is just so far beyond what I want. I have high anxiety. I have social anxiety. I'm actually very shy, even though it doesn't come across in these conversations. I'm great one on one. You put me in a group and I want to die. Like, this is not for me. Yep. And and I I. Maybe this is me giving myself a little too much credit, but I was like close to almost famous. Um, and I experienced a lot that was very eye opening. And if yeah. I do this with you, I would rather get the thousand. How cool is that? We got a thousand fucking downloads on this Yay. show. That's sick, right? Yay. I was really surprised. I kind of was way. too, dude. I was really <laughs> happy. And then I checked this morning and, and it's uh, 1.1. So I'm like, oh, neat. Like, it's, no way. It's going. Yeah. But from the bottom of my heart, dude, I would rather have that core group of people Me too. that give a fuck and really are listening to us and know that we're always going to speak with integrity as much as possible and we'll keep each other in check. That's one of the reasons I like you so much is you oh. don't sit there just yesing me to death. You'll be like, no, 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 dude, that's wrong. And I, I would rather take a small audience to a really vulnerable, awesome fucking place than to have millions of people who like the TikTok, like what you're experiencing on TikTok right now, dude. People aren't even fucking listening to you. You know what I mean? Like they're just making a fucking assumption and attacking based on that. And it's just like, I don't know. I, I think. Yeah. I can't imagine being a bigger platform. Fuck that. I don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we both are always going to be evolving and, uh, and trying to keep ourselves and each other in check. And, and I do feel bad that I called Vicky T a cunt. I, not that I don't believe that it's true. <laughs> I just, I, it's so funny. I was like sitting back yesterday, like so proud of us. I'm just like, man, me and Alan, we're doing great on this show. This is great. And then I just like heard in my own mind, me being like, and she's a cunt with like a hard T. And I was like, oh, that's not my best <laughs> self. I might try to avoid speaking like that about her in the future, but not House and Habit because she's, she is a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> that's evolving, baby. That's well, that's half evolving. We'll get you there. I started to evolve and then I sort of regressed a little bit. But on that note, uh, thank you so much, Alan, for being here with me. I have taken so much of your time this week. I just keep messaging you like, do you I'm have glad some to t- do it? <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much for joining us on Brittany Army Barracks. And remember, people can take everything away from you, but they can never take away your truth. Until next week. <laughs> Bye. You bring me back around.